cover the news and events for the week ending on Friday, July 21st. I'm Paige Ray. Thank you so much for joining us. We begin with exciting news for Troy's journalism program. A Troy graduate and former intern at Troy Public Radio has won a national award for his work. Bell Johnson introduces us to Jared McBride and tells us about his inspiration behind his award-winning story. Jared McBride has been in radio for about a year and a half. However, his hard work is paying off. His story about the Clotilda, the last known slave ship in Alabama, recently won first place in the Mark of Excellence competition for the National Society of Professional Journalists. McBride says he was inspired to report on the Clotilda because it is close to his hometown. I'm originally from Washington County, that's pretty much Mobile, Alabama. That interested me knowing that I grew up right there, I didn't know anything about it. And then it was so significant, so important that people do documentaries, people was doing all types of things, writing articles about it. McBride wrote the story last summer while he was interning with Troy Public Radio. He says he wanted to write something which would grab people's attention and still be educational. So me in my head, I'm thinking, how can I grab your, grab your interest while I still educating you at the same time? I want to do a story that I knew, like, that was going to be, like, interesting to, to me. Because I feel like if you do a story that's interesting to you, you most like, that's most likely going to be your best story. McBride now plans to continue pursuing writing. He says he wants his work to be impactful for many years. I want my stories to mean something to other people, mean something to me. And in the future, I want to write more stories that don't just not just a story that you will read five years, six years from now, it's going to be able to impact and touch people from forever. McBride's advice to other writers is to keep trying and don't get frustrated when things don't go as planned. Anybody trying to do it, do it as much as you can and don't look back at your first one and get mad or sad because my first story I ever made ain't better than the wasn't uh, better than the next one. I had to like keep doing it more and more to get better. Bell Johnson, Troy, Trojan Vision News. McBride plans to go back to school for his master's degree in communication. He says he also plans to keep writing. Still to come on the week that was, this year's Summer Spotlight series continues with young actors learning the art of theater. We'll have that story and more after the break. Stay with us. You got me believing. Maybe you know that tobacco and drinking alcohol can increase your risk of developing oral or throat cancer. But the fastest growing cause of these cancers is the HPV virus or the human papillomavirus. In fact, if you have HPV, you are 30 times more likely to get oral cancer. And it is affecting young people with increasing frequency. That's why everyone should perform an oral cancer self-exam each month. Stand in front of a mirror in a well-lit area. Feel the inside of your lips and cheeks, the roof of your mouth, the front and back of your gums, and all the surfaces of your tongue. Look for lumps, bumps, sores that don't heal or discolored patches. Oral cancer can happen to anyone. Early detection is the key to a cure. If you find anything unusual, see your general dentist or an oral and facial surgeon as soon as possible. Welcome back. Troy University is encouraging those interested in the world of theater with the Summer Spotlight Series. Throughout the summer, different camps have been available for kids of all ages. Last week, the largest and most popular youth camp took a bow. Belle Johnson has that story. 
Last week, Troy University's Department of Theater and Dance, as well as the Department of Art and Design, continued their Summer Spotlight series. Summer Spotlight is a series of camps and programs and intensive that we do in the summer. And it is uh, for creative young people and adults in the arts. Last week's camp was the Creative Drama Camp. Participants learned about different stage acting techniques as well as rehearsed for a showcase presented at the end of the camp. This week is Creative Drama Camp, which is our largest camp and the original camp of Summer Spotlight, and it's for ages 8 to 13. This year we are presenting Aladdin, the Disney kids version of Aladdin from Music Theater International. Averett says one of the best things about the Summer Spotlight is the generational aspect of the camps. We have campers ages 8 to 13. We have Troy students who are their staff and their counselors. We have Troy alumni who are coming back to be guest teaching artists. We have parents who are Troy students who now send their children to Summer Spotlight. Averett also says she is grateful to the university and to all those who support the Summer Spotlight series. She hoped the camps will last for years to come. And we're so grateful for the university to allow us to have these kinds of programs for our community. We have the little ones all the way up to these adults who just want to continue to give back to Summer Spotlight um, in whatever capacity they can. It's a really special thing. Bell Johnson, Troy, Trojan Vision News. Summer Spotlight camps continue until the end of July. The next few camps will be open for high school and college students. Coming up after the break, young students learn the importance of being involved in their local communities. That story is on its way. We'll be right back. dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Did you know kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs? Totally. I did. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know Terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. It's totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you know that strollers have the right of way on the sidewalk? Yes. Yep, I did. Did you guys did know? Did you know that kids who eat breakfast have higher GPAs? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. actually what I was going to say. Did you know babies should never touch silver? It's really bad for them. I knew that. Did you guys know that statistically friendly kids have more friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. I'm putting that on my blog. I just put it in mine. Thanks for staying with us. The Troy University Office of Civic Engagement is working to teach the next generation how to be good citizens. Over the week, Civic Heroes has taught kids about civics and ethics. Bell Johnson has the story. Troy University's Office of Civic Engagement is working to teach the next generation about civics and ethical behavior with the Civic Heroes Camp. Civic Heroes was created about four years ago, uh, right when we were entering COVID. We wanted uh, a summer camp to be fun, but we also wanted there to be some learning components. The camp focuses on the civics in American government as well as different characteristics of a good citizen. Make sure to help your community and, have, and make sure your community is really good. I've learned how to be respectful and honest, and just how to be a good citizen. Symbols, assets, 
um, community services. Campers are able to learn more about different community leaders such as Officer Egan and his canine Azor from the Troy Police Department. Every day we have what we call a community hero from a local um, service or a local nonprofit. I loved his story about how he helps his community and how his dog helps him. I liked meeting the dog and, and seeing how he works. Campers also participate in asset mapping, which teaches them about different resources or places in their community. Throughout the week, they will identify and recognize and learn about those assets, and then they will even get to build a campaign for a particular category and vote on the best one at the end. Cochran hopes the campers will take what they have learned during Civic Heroes into their own community. It is elevating their experience as well and really giving them the tools that they need to be active in their local community. Civic Heroes is sponsored by the David Matthews Center in Montevallo, Alabama. Still to come on Trojan Visions The Week That Was, a tiny dancer gets an exclusive recital all for herself. It's a story you don't want to miss. We'll be right back. If you store your guns properly. So not just anyone can get to them. I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. I won't have to tell so many family members. I'm sorry. I won't hear as many scary stories or scary news reports. I won't have to hold someone's hand and shout you're going to make it. And I won't have to tell my kids this isn't a drill. Please. 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 Do it for us. For us. Do it for us. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. If you own a firearm and are not using it, please be responsible and be sure that it's stored in a safe place. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we offer leadership opportunities from day one. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Do you have what it takes to change the world? Welcome back. The Patty Rutland Jazz Dance Studio is working to make dreams come true. Recently, a special guest stopped by the studio. Here's a look into that special performance thanks to Mackenzie Foster. A viral TikTok sensation and dance lover, Princess Primula, visited the Patty Rutland Jazz Studio to participate in a dance recital. Primula has a rare genetic disorder that results in her being 24 pounds at the age of 14. With a previous negative experience at a dance program in upstate New York, the artistic director of Patty Rutland Jazz wanted to give Primula a positive experience to remember. I knew that she loved dance and I knew she loved costumes and we decided to give her a recital and she danced with Lily and Ileana and performed. Primula's mom, Dawn Cosgrove, says that Primula's former dance instructor physically removed and restrained Primula on the floor. Cosgrove says it's important that Primula and her family have a better memory to think about now. Since she's been home, that's what it's been about, is trying to give new memories over the old memories just to make her have a better life, just to make her know that she is loved and that there's good people in this world and that there's no more hurt that she's safe. Cosgrove also says she and her husband are blown away by the acceptance and love that Simpson and the dance students have shown Primula. And this Patty blessed her with so many presents, costumes and a team dance jacket and just, I mean, the acceptance that all the kids have shown here and the love. I mean, I can't, I can't even, I can't even say how blessed we are. <laughs> Thanks, Mackenzie. Primula's day didn't end with the dance recital. There was also a ball where she got to dance some more. And that's the week that was. To find out what's happening on a daily basis, tune into Trojan Vision News at 5, 6, 30, and 10, 30, Monday through Thursday. But a quick program.
program note, this marks our final episode of the week that was for summer 2023. We'll pack back up once school begins in August. We hope you have a wonderful next few weeks. We'll see you again real soon.